Milgrove. I'm a naturopath and herbalist. I specialise in preconception and pregnancy work as well as postnatal care for women. I work with women in this time using herbs and homeopathy as well as some nutritional supplements. Uh, I believe that naturopathy is a great tool to use during the childbearing years to keep you uh, at your optimum health. Herbal medicine may be used safely to treat many of the conditions that arise during this time including morning sickness, digestive complaints, insomnia and leg cramps. In the first trimester, many women experience morning sickness. Herbal teas may be used safely to relieve nausea and the best choices are peppermint, fennel and chamomile. Make a big pot of hot tea first thing in the morning and sip it throughout the period of the day. As the pregnancy progresses into the third trimester, Prata's preparatory herbs are wonderful at toning and supporting the uterine muscle. This will allow it to contract well during labour and return it to its usual size thereafter. Prata's prep herbs have long been made for women who desire an uneventful birth and one of the most common herbs used in these mixes is raspberry leaf. You should see a naturopath or herbalist during this time so that a remedy particularly suited to your individual needs can be made for you prior to birth. Pregnancy massage for a therapist who specialises in this field can also provide great benefit as the end of the pregnancy approaches. Pregnancy massage relaxes muscles that are working much harder than usual and allows a woman to feel the benefits of deep relaxation and rejuvenation. By relieving the muscles of tightness and strain, they are more ready to go through the hard work of labour and much more likely to recover more quickly. After the birth, herbs can be used in different ways to reduce the soreness of the perineal area as well as the healing of tears and stitches, hemorrhoids and swelling. An infusion of calendula and comfrey herbs as well as sea salt added to a warm bath can be used in the first week after birth to speed healing. Witch hazel is another useful herb during this time and can be applied directly to the perineal area or spread onto a pad. It is naturally astringent and very soothing. Calendula cream can also be substituted as an alternative to witch hazel. Take care to purchase high quality products. Arnica is a homeopathic remedy I can't speak highly enough of. It's fantastic for easing that bruise tender feeling that most women feel in the first three days following birth. Breastfeeding is another area which herbal medicine may help with. For some women who have a low milk supply, herbs such as nettle, fennel and goat's rue are very effective. These herbs are also very nourishing to the mother, which is important at this time. They can be taken as either a herbal tea or a tincture. Herbs are a great tool for good health during the childbearing years. However, I would like to mention there are some herbs that should be avoided in pregnancy and lactation, such as tansy, feverfew and poke root and others. So I definitely recommend that you see a qualified herbalist or naturopath for advice before you start to take any herbs for medicinal purposes.